Good day, Nixers! I am Errol, and once again, welcome to the Engineering Drawing Series, where we not only draw, but also are keen to know. In the previous videos, we have discussed the challenge on how people of different cultures use different types of pictures or symbols to communicate, and how a certain individual devise a universal system so that engineers of different nationalities shall have a common understanding of technical drawings. In this next lesson, the learner shall be able to explain why there are numbers seen on pencils and pens used in engineering drawing. Explain how different thickness of lines are created in engineering drawings. And lastly, explain the various types of lines, its thickness, its purpose, and characteristics. In this session, we will learn about the various types of lines used in engineering drawing. And so I vow that, through thick and thin lines, for visible and invisible lines, in dimensions and extensions, till cutting planes are drawing sported. These lines each have a meaning, and that meaning must be understood by none other than our future engineers. Without further ado, let's start. Shown in this slide is our learning roadmap. Now, let's look into the various types of lines used in engineering drawing. Here are the various types of lines as discussed in our introductory video. By the way, if you have not yet watched the introductory video, I have included it on the description box below for easier access. Now, before we discuss the various types of lines, let's first talk about the various weights of lines. Here are the pictures that we will use to differentiate the various weights of lines. By the way, disclaimer first, this video is not an advertisement and the creator is not connected to the various brands cited in this video. These brands were included because it is commonly used in engineering departments here in the Philippines. Now, going back, there are only three weights that will be included in our discussion. And those are thick, medium, and thin lines. As you may have observed, the pencils shown here have varying numbers 1, 2, 3, and 2B. Each of these numbers have a meaning and it talks about the hardness and shade of the pencil. Again, the hardness and shade of the pencil. When we say hardness, it is the property of a material to resist penetration wear or scratching. In simple terms, if material A can scratch or leave a mark on material B, then material A is harder compared to material B. To illustrate the hardness of materials, say we have the lead of a pencil and a paper. When a pencil writes on paper, it scratches that paper. That is why, when we erase writings done on paper using a pencil, certain marks are left on the paper. In other words, the lead of a pencil is harder than the paper since it can scratch it. In the same way that fingernails are harder than soap and your kitchen knife is harder than chopping board. In terms of hardness, Mongol 1 is soft. Mongol 2 is medium and Mongol 3 is hard. This means that for the same force applied when writing on paper, among these three pencils, the one that can scratch or damage the paper the most is the Mongol 3 pencil. In terms of shade, Mongol 1 is dark in shade, Mongol 2 is medium, and Mongol 3 is light shade, as shown in the photo. This one this one and this one that is why 
if you have ever encountered examinations which involve shading the circle of the correct answer using a pencil, then Mongol 1, not Mongol 2, must be your best friend. It does not scratch the examination paper that much and it produces a darker shade as shown in this picture. By the way, Pencil 2B is an examination grade pencil which has the same shade as the Mongol 1 and this type of pencil is more expensive than Mongol 1 for almost the same result. Now you may ask, where does the weight of lines come in for pencils? Remember. isograph pens with thickness of 0 0.5, 0 0.35, and 0 0.25. These are used to create thick, medium, and thin lines consistently. As such, pencil outlines can be of consistent thickness, but the final engineering drawing are composed of various lines with different weights created using an isograph pen. This is the same principle that applies to GTEC, Dong A, and Artline pens. Now, why did we discuss this? It is to differentiate the numbers on pencils and the numbers on pens. While numbers on pencils indicate the hardness and shade, numbers on pens indicate the thickness of the line it creates. And these different line thickness created by these pens are essential to the different types of lines in engineering drawing. In other words, the weight of lines equals the thickness of lines. To start our discussion with the different types of lines, let's start with an object line. Shown here is an example of a drawing utilizing object lines. As you may observe, these lines are thick, the purpose of which is to create the outline or the edges of the main drawing. As such, it is also known as a visible line. The next type of line are called hidden lines. These lines are thin. If 0.75 is the number found on the pen for thickness for visible lines, 0.4 to 0.5 millimeters thickness is for hidden lines. The purpose of hidden lines, as its name suggests, is to show the edges, surfaces, and corners which cannot be seen. It is also known as a hidden object line. In other words, it is an object line that is hidden. It is a line made of short dashes about 1 8 inch long with 1 over 16 inch gap. Next we have section lines, which are also thin lines, same with hidden lines. These lines
long, and here is our center. The next type of line is what we call the dimension line, which are also thin lines. These lines are used to show the actual size of an object. Here it indicates 5, and if the note on the drawing says all units are in inches, just like on the previous video, then this means that the length of this side is 5 inches. It is characterized by a line with arrowheads on both ends. The partner of a dimension line is what we call the extension line, which are also thin lines. These lines are used to show the extent or limitation of lengths. As such, dimension lines touch extension lines, just like what you see here in the picture. Next we have leader lines, which are also thin lines. These lines are used to lead or point to an area of a drawing requiring a note for explanation. just like in this illustration here. It is also used to shorten objects which have the same shape throughout its length which may be which are thin lines, used to show the travel or movement of an object or a part in alternate positions. As you may And we have emphasized that the numbers on pencils 
will tell us the hardness and shade of that pencil, while the numbers on pens will indicate the weight or thickness of the lines which it can create. Next is we explained how different thickness of lines are created in engineering drawings. Again, referring to the numbers seen on pens. And lastly, we explain the various types of lines, its thickness, its purpose, and its characteristics, starting with the object line, hidden line, section line, cutting plane line, break line, border line. All of those types of lines have meanings, have its thickness, have its purpose, and have its very own characteristics. I hope this video has been helpful to you, and if it did, please leave this video a thumbs up. Subscribe to this channel if you are not subscribed yet and ring that notification bell so that you will be updated in our future uploads. And as always, I'll see you on the next one.